30 seconds. Wait, that sounded like two people. I know it's more than two people in here. Yeah. Okay, one more time. Is everybody good? How is everybody doing tonight? There we go. Everybody's all dressed up, looking wonderful. All right, I'm ready, we're ready. All right. So, it is an honor. Is it? <laughs> to be able to sit with this young man here. Uh, this is... Uh, Chris Mohead, Kylo Art. All right, y'all clap it up for Chris Mohead of Kylo Art. Thank you, thank you. So, of course, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. If you will, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Chris Mohead, a rapper, performer, aspiring actor. Um, owner of Hollow uh, Art, and um, yeah, man, I'm just out here living life and just enjoying life and whatever else, you know. <laughs> living life, enjoying life, loving life, you gotta love it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so let me ask you, Chris, how did you get started? Um, I got started by just, um, I don't know, because I, I don't know when, when I started, like, from, for as long as I can remember, I've always been, like, singing and, and, you know, tapping my foot, just coming up with random songs in my head, and um, I actually first started recording, I was, like, 16, and I actually really started taking it serious, probably, like, a year ago, maybe, like, trying to, you know, uh, making sure my uh, songs are published and everything like that, and making sure the business side of it is in order. I guess last year, you know, whatever you want to... Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so with that, um, in all that you're doing, what are some goals that you would definitely want to achieve? Um, well, I don't, my main goal is to just inspire, you know, people, inspire kids really who, who are like, me, you know, awkward and shy growing up and um, just want to feel like they can do anything. You know, I, I don't really think too hard about, you know, anything really. I'm just out here just trying to inspired man i just love to create you know i just love to um make music i love being around music you know and that's that's just what it is you know and um yeah i want to i want to help kids with depression and stuff like that i want to um, i want to help single moms and things like that with um you know with my company and the money i make from it so yeah that's that's pretty much it <laughs> hey, that mental health is definitely real. So the fact that you are open and willing to help in any way on that, that's, that's a great thing. Uh, let me ask you, what are some of your influences and inspirations? My biggest influence is, uh, music-wise, is probably Outkast. Outkast, uh, Childish Gambino, um, Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt. Um, I always forget when people ask me, and I always just draw a blank, uh, Nirvana. <laughs> Um, I'm just inspired by everyday life too, like just uh, everyday conversations. Half my songs come from just a conversation. Somebody might say something cool, then I'm like, I'm gonna make a song about that. Or, yeah, just, yeah, 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 it's just, it just, however it comes, you know, however inspiration comes, it, just, it is what it is. <laughs> that's, that's the beauty and power of music. You can create whatever you want to create, just yeah. from a conversation, and make the song a conversation. Exactly. So that's that's exactly. definitely awesome. Let me ask you, um, when it comes to everything that you're doing, who, is, who would you like to work with? Who would you like to work with and who would you like to meet? Uh, like the guy said before, I would love to work with like Prince. I love to work with Nirvana. I, I, I really just want to work with, um, I work with anybody. Like it, it really doesn't matter the genre or anything. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm big on just trying things. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, just don't put it out, you know? But um, I, I, I would love to work with anybody. Uh, Andre 3000, I would love to work with him, but I'm, I'm afraid to get on like his song. I would love for him to get on my song, you know, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to be the, the reason, you know, get a bad Andre. I don't want to get the first bad Andre feature either, like, yeah, like that. That's the only one, man, like, Childish can't be no, anybody. It, it does not matter. It really doesn't. I got you. Her Frank. <laughs> Stump, okay. <laughs> So with that, um, do you have any current or upcoming projects? I do actually. Um, depending on when this is coming out, I, I'm releasing a new single. Uh, so first I'm announcing on May 3rd, I'm releasing a new single featuring The Dubber, the amazing, awesome. the original rock star, The Dubber. Y'all, please give it up for The Dubber. Yes, give it up for The Dubber, y'all. It's a legend. Um, and with that, um, after that, I will be dropping a project later in the fall. So yeah, the first single music video is coming out. This summer. Awesome. I love to hear. Now the project that you'll be dropping, will it be an EP or album? 
it'll be an album full length, probably like 11 songs. Awesome. Okay. And let me just say, it'll be a, like an album. Now, it won't just be a collection of songs. I like to tell the story. Like, from start to finish, you can listen to it and, and enjoy it. And, and it got that bump in it, too. You know, it's not just, yeah. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So with that, let me ask you, if not this, what would you be doing? Uh, I think I might want to be like a teacher or something like that. I'd love to like to teach and just inspire people. And, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can't see myself doing anything else but, you know, creating and, and expressing myself in a creative way. So even if I was teaching, I'd come up with like a creative way to do that. You know, I, yeah. Teaching, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, with that, I mean, in a lot of ways, with what you do, you are still teaching. Yeah. It maybe. may not be in a classroom, but you're definitely teaching somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, go ahead, teacher. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Let me also ask uh, what will be your I made it moment? Um, I, I've had several, and I think I'm just going to keep having them. I don't really have like a big one. Uh, my first one was uh, my dad telling me that he wanted to help me. I told him, I've been doing music since like forever, but I told him like I want to have my own company where I own everything and I own this and that. So him saying, I want to be a part of that. Like, he approached me and was like, I want to, you know, I want to help you with that. And then him just taking it and running with it. That was an outdated moment for me. Uh, when I first started rapping, my mom was big on like, no cursing, no cursing. I curse all the time with my music, and my mom's right there in the crowd, right now, like, she'll pull the phone out and record it, hey mom. <laughs> yeah, so that was an I made it moment. Um, I'm recording, the album that I'm recording, I'm recording it in Atlanta, so I don't know why, that was just something I always wanted to do, was record an album in Atlanta, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and they just keep coming, like, they just keep on coming, I'm grateful for every one of them, you know? Um, yeah, man. And probably a big one too, if a kid comes up to me and is like, hey man, I'm I'm doing music because I listened to your song and it inspired me to to, to want to do it too. That'll be big for me too. Yeah, yeah that'll be amazing. Yeah, and having an impact on not just anyone but the children. Yeah, yeah. you know that's that's definitely powerful. So I do feel you there. What advice would you give others who may be trying to do what you're doing? Um, <clears throat> the main thing I always say is just like stop blaming people for your failures or whatever. Just control the things that you can control and the things that you can't control, you just have to kind of let it go. You know, like you can't blame, I'm not making it because so-and-so will do this for me or so-and-so will do that. And like, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Do that and do it to the best of your abilities and then, you know, it'll work out. At least it, that's, you know, it, it worked out for me. At least. So, um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Just, you know, control what you can control and give, give the rest up. Drive yourself crazy trying to control it. Now that is true. That is so true. Let me also ask, how has COVID impacted your career? Um, it actually, it slowed everything down because I was performing a lot um, back in 2019 and then COVID hit and I really just sat down and kind of like planned out what I wanted uh, creatively. Because like I said, my, my pops came in and helped me with all the business stuff. So he's real, real great with that. I just really needed to lock in and like focus on what do I want. Uh, what message do I want to put out creatively? Like, what story do I want to tell? Because that's important to me. Like, that's you know, that's big on me. So that's that's how COVID it, it gave us a chance to sit down and reflect and uh, you know plan for the future. And look what we have here, one of these avenues, 600 Seconds with Hollow Art, which is an amazing outlet and avenue for any artist or creative. Um, so I highly do recommend this platform to yes. anyone. Please, pull up. Most certainly. Let me also ask, uh, what's one place you most like to visit? Um, I want to say Africa, because that just feels like the, the right thing to say. I don't, I'm not sure where, maybe Egypt. But I really want to go to France. Like, I don't know why something about France just kind of speaks to me. Like, the I lived in Germany for a little bit, and um, I remember some people were speaking French. We went to uh, went to Belgium. Um, yeah, I don't know, just France, Europe. You know, just somewhere over there <laughs> in Europe, somewhere way out of America. I, I like to just get back out in the country. You know. Do you speak French? I don't. I, I took French one and two, and I don't remember anything. So you didn't know yes. How to say yes? Yeah, we we we. we. Okay. Yeah, j'ai <laughs> tout. 
that's that's I love you. Uh, merci. That's thank you. Uh, that's pretty much it. Man. Hey, little go. French lesson for tonight. Yeah, thank I'm, you for that. I'm fluent, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a celebrity crush? Oh no, my wife. Um, there you go. It's my celebrity crush. Give it up for my wife. Give it up for wife. Give it up for the wife. Great answer. Yeah. But also, no, man. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite comedy TV show? Uh, the Simpsons. I'm a fanatic of The Simpsons. Since I was a little kid, I love The Simpsons. I still watch it to this day, every day, pretty much. I don't know why. It just speaks to me. I love The Simpsons. <laughs> you know what? The older I've gotten, I have, a, I guess, more appreciation for The Simpsons. Yeah. Because it. It teaches you a lot. Yeah, it's been around so long. Man. It's, it's really just an escape, I think. Like, when life gets crazy, I can just you know, watch cartoons and just get transformed, transported back to a simpler time almost, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Do you have a favorite movie? Yeah, yeah. Um, Black Panther has become my favorite movie. I, my appreciation for it uh, grew more, of course, after chat with uh, Bozeman's death, but that's become my favorite movie now. Like, I just love the impact of it. Um, like, uh, you interviewed Mama G, like she was saying, uh, what did she say exactly? But uh, basically saying representation, like what we see, what the kids see when they when they watch that movie. They see kings and queens that look like them. They got dreadlocks and afros and stuff, whereas somebody might tell you, you can't get a job with that. You gotta cut that off, you gotta shake that up. But now uh, you can be yourself and still be a king, you know, and still be royalty. And I'm, I'm real big on that, that movie. I saw that movie, I said I'm never cut my hair again after I saw that movie. I still have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I feel that. you. I love that movie myself. So when it comes to music, you being the, the creative that you are, if you had to put together a two-song playlist, what would that be? Two-song playlist. Two songs. Okay. Uh, I like earlier you said day and night. So for my day playlist, to wake me up. I gotta listen to Breathe by Nirvana. It's like a hard, like in your face kind of song. You just kind of wake up, you know. And then uh, at night, um, when I'm driving home late at night, I gotta listen to uh, Voyage to Atlantis by the Osley Brothers. What? Yeah, that, that it just takes me out of space. Like, that's a song, I hear that song and I choke up. I don't know why. Wow. I don't know why. Like, that song is, I love that song. I love that's the Osley Brothers. Song. Yeah. I'm gonna explain that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you were king for a day, all right? One day. For one day, what are what is one thing that you would love to for what is one thing that you would love to happen? Uh, for the, if just a king for one day, I'm gonna spend day. that whole day putting money into my bank account so that I would have it the next day and I can help out all um, the people that I need to help out. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> we got one day, we ain't got much time. Right. <laughs> Life is short. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining us today, Chris. Thank you. Thank we really you. do appreciate you for being here. Um, let me ask you, how can the people follow you? How can the people support you? Where can we find you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, just Chris Mohead, uh, C-H-R-I-S-M-O-H-E-A-D. And all my stuff is on Hilo Arts. That's on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I think we have a Snapchat, too. You know, but um, yeah, Hollow Art and Chris Mohead on all streaming services. And all my music is on uh, all streaming services. So, yeah, check me out. <laughs> Do you have any final shout outs? Um, shout out to my wife and my beautiful son. Uh, I love him so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to my mother, my father, and uh, everybody else, man. Just everybody who support me. I got love for anybody who got love for me. And the people who don't. That's real. So let me ask you now, will you be doing a performance soon? I sure will. I'm going to perform. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs>